Now, from the bleachers to the end zones, Red Irons up and down the coast. Live from the largest sports team on local television, this is Friday Football Focus. Hey, Friday the 13th, no need to fear. We have some scary good highlights. I am Mike Clan. This is Friday Football Focus. Senior night at Santa Barbara High School. Don's honoring a great group of leaders like Tomas Gill, Bodie Foskey, Ty Malt, DJ Wilson, etc. Great night for the athletes and families. And what a matchup at Peabody Stadium. SB putting out the welcome mat for Moore Park in a battle of undefeated teams. Moore Park nickeling and diming their way down the field early in the game, but Bodie Falski puts an end to that with this interception. And just two plays later, the Dons putting points on the board. Laird Finkel buying time. He's going to find star Kai Malt, who is open from here to Tierra Rahata at Moore Park. No one's catching the speedy Malt. 81 yard touchdown, 7 0 Dons. After the Dons pin Moore Park on the one yard line with a kick, quick punt by Finkel. The Musketeers get out of the hole quickly. First play of the second quarter, Luke Eldridge upfield. Tyler Buckles, 40-yard gain. Moore Park working their way down the field. Carson Melzer going right up the gut. See ya. 35-yard touchdown run. That was easy. Musketeers tie the game up at seven. Don's driving now after converting on fourth and short. Finkel to Carter DeBus. First down, Santa Barbara. Don's facing another fourth and short, but this time Moore Park's Jaden Gray Breaks up the pass to stop Santa Barbara. Late in the first half, Musketeers in Don's territory facing fourth down. This time, Santa Barbara makes the stop. Bodie Foskey with great coverage. Don's take over in the 32-yard line, just 22 seconds left, but they push the issue. Finkel to Kai Malt makes the catch. They decline the penalty. Moore Park's 40-yard line with 11 seconds to go. And Finkel airing it out to Kai Malt, who beats two defenders. Catches the 40-yard touchdown with three ticks left in the half. What a play. What a talent Kai Mold is. They led 14-7 at the half. And who won the game, you ask? Don's, dude. 28-21. Mold had an 80-yard pick six in the fourth quarter to extend the lead to two touchdowns. Don's now get ready for their big game. It's at San Marcos next Friday. The Rigetti Warriors have already surpassed last year's win total. Everybody loves a winner, and everybody loves the rooster. He has our coverage of Rigetti's home game against Paso Robles. Hey, Mike, it's Friday the 13th, and that's always a little spooky, but here's something that's spooky. Coming into tonight, Paso Robles is riding a three-year winning streak against Rigetti, but before that, Rigetti had a three-year win streak against Paso Robles, and before that, Paso Robles had a three, no, a six-year winning streak against Rigetti. Kind of streaky. I thought it was spooky. Let's get to the highlights. 3-0 Rigetti, taking on 1-2 pass of Robles. Hey, number 13, got to be lucky for somebody tonight, right? Opening drive for the Bearcats, Marcus Garcia here, scrambling around on second and three, and he's going to find the three, and he's going to find a little bit more as he gets himself out of bounds. Bearcats in business, and then moments later, Garcia with a quick little pass over to Wyatt Johnson. He's got better hands than Allstate. Paso up 6 nothing. they've missed the PAT. That's never good. Warriors now with the ball. Nick Matawatia going up top and finding... Lewis Magana, and he gone, just like my friend Allie, who's moving to Texas next week. And Lewis not going quite that far. He'll stop in the end zone. He's got school on Monday. 7-6 Rigetti at that moment. And then 150 to go in the first quarter. Aiden Finley gets into the end zone faster than I can do the Wordle. That's 14-6 now, Warriors. Over to the second quarter now, Gilbert uh, Murguia is going to fire one down the field, but the pass is broken up by Angel Guerrera. Nice defensive play there for Paso Robles. But moments later, Merguia would get himself into the end zone as uh, he takes it on the quarterback keeper. And in the words of Aerosmith, walk this way into the end zone. 21 to six, Warriors would lead it at the half over to the third quarter now after a safety made it 23-6. Matawatia gonna plunge into the end zone. Rigetti goes on to win big tonight, 51 to 13. Warriors will travel to Arroyo Grande next week. Paso Robles will take on Atascadero. In Orca tonight for Friday Football Focus, I'm Kevin Roos. Mike, back to you. Hope Alley likes Texas. Now to the big game in Lompoc Valley. Tony Almanza has the action from Lompoc versus Cabrillo. Hey, Mike. Lompoc is looking to bounce back after a tough loss last week. Cabrillo, they're looking for their second straight win tonight. Big rivalry game between these two. Let's get to those highlights. 
The last time the Conquistadors beat the Braves was in the 2008 season. On Cabrillo's first offensive possession, Andre Briscoe takes the handoff. He goes down the sideline and takes it 42 yards to the house. Cabrillo takes a 7-0 lead. Conquistadors back on offense. Blake Gregory finds Jude Anderson. Anderson zooms past the defense, stays on his feet, and no one is bringing him down. He gets in the end zone on a 68-yard touchdown. Lompoc still looking for points. Izzy Elizondo on the kickoff return. He finds some running room, makes some moves, and no one is catching him. He goes 85 yards for the score. Cabrillo still up 20-7. to Cabrillo's offense couldn't be stopped. On third and 11, Blake Gregory connects to Andre Briscoe, and no one is catching him. He gets in the end zone on a 31-yard touchdown pass. The Conquistadors get the win 48-25. It's their first win over the Braves in 15 years. Mike, back to you. Hey, Tony, congratulations to Cabrillo. And you have to go back to the 2006 season for the last time San Marcos has beaten Buena Royals with 14 straight losses to the Bulldogs. San Marcos focused on snapping that ugly skid. They made the trip to Ventura. Early first quarter, Bulldog quarterback Blake Eberhard going to find his receiver, Aaron Cesario. It's a big Bulldog gain, but the Royals let her stand tall on the goal line. Coming into this game, they had given up just 20 points. Diego Pedroza putting the heat on, forcing the turnover on downs. San Marcos senior quarterback Danny Diaz takes off 20 yards. Nice gain, but hey, the dogs playing tough D2. Andrew, Andrew Silva getting to Diaz here, and that's going to end the first quarter with a scoreless tie. All right, punting situation early second quarter for Buena, and a big miscue by the Royals. They put the ball on the ground. Christian Quezada recovers the fumble, and they set up shop first and goal, and you get the first points of the game. Eberhardt rolling out, finding receiver Tyler Hoff, corner of the end zone, seven nothing, Buena on the scoreboard. Next San Marcos drive, Diaz gonna drop one off to his receiver, Quinn Donnell. Donnell gets up field. Good shape, sets up first and goal, but Buena once again forcing San Marcos out of the end zone, and then to boot, they block the field goal. Jacob Rodriguez, big play, kept it 7-0 for the home team. First possession of the third quarter, still 7-0. Tyler Hoff takes the reverse, and see you later. 39-yard house call, second of the day. Buena would go up 21-0 in the fourth quarter and just hang on. Royal scored a late touchdown with under a minute left to pull within one. But Buena stops a two-point conversion try. Bulldogs win a thriller, 21-20. So the Royals get ready for the big game now versus the Dons. Up next, we got highlights of San Luis Obispo at Napomo, sort of, we'll explain. Plus, San Inez was on a mission to beat Mission Prep. Stick and stay, those highlights on the way.